Hey you guys, salam alaikum. I am currently driving through the city right now and talking to you all. Trust me, I'm a pro at this. I've been driving and talking since I was born, so. <laughs> but I am here today for a little short video that I'm here to make while I'm driving. And this is going to be just about, for, for my sisters, for my beautiful Muslim queen sisters out there. Y'all are some divas. Y'all can get that money, get that grind, get that shine on. Um, and also for these Muslim men out there. Let me just say this, and this has been on my heart for a couple of days. Um, yeah, so we have got to do better within this new generation of Muslims. You know, we are being guided by our forefathers. Um, you know, by the older generation, but of course, you know, they're dying now or you know they're leaving soon and i just feel like we need to be better when it comes to speaking in in all kind of communications uh situationships relationships whatever you want to call them um we have to learn just how to not be so guarded as much coming from me somebody who's super guarded a lot um you know just with like recent issues, I guess, or just recent people, I can say. Um, being guarded will keep you guarded and it will keep you at a, at a distance for your whole entire life. Trust me, I know, I've been there before. I've been super guarded in my life and nothing but negativity comes from that. Um, just pray on it. Just keep Allah first at all times whenever you're going through things that are, you know, disheartening or not, you know, that aren't feeling right to you exactly um yeah just don't be so guarded like i said i know it can feel weird you know just letting somebody in especially when you've been abused whether it's been physical abuse mental abuse verbal abuse even sexual abuse i'll even say that just all kind of abuse you know what i'm saying like take that from a grain of salt and i mean make your life better from that um Become more open in life. Become more nurturing in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, when God gives you lemons, man, make the best lemonade. Make the best sweet tea lemonade <laughs> that you can. I like sweet tea and lemonade mixed together. But no, um, I mean, yeah, like so on a lot on a lot of drama, a lot of fitness that goes on within the Islamic community for the 20 year olds and the 30 year olds like we just got to get better in our dean in our dunya and you know what i'm saying i'm not perfect trust me i'm not even probably even at the top of my dean but the fact that i try i hope that allah sees that i try that's really all that matters at the same time but once again this came from like a little mini rant y'all gonna see me doing like little mini rant videos from now on that's how i kind of cope and how i talk out my issues just by, you know, showing the world that, hey, you know, people out here um, go through things all the time. Um, but there's always going to be a light at the end of that tunnel. But you have to be able to walk to that tunnel. And if it's closed and if it's locked, then how can light come in? You feel me? Um, I don't know who I'm, who I'm speaking to directly in this video. Um, but I hope this reaches somebody out there who's, who's going through hard times in life. Um, who's looking, you know, for a husband or for a wife out there. I can tell you that person is out there for you. Your other half has been biologically, scientifically, Islamically made for you. That rib, if you're a man, that missing rib is, is in her and she's looking for the arm. Is it the other way? I don't know. But anywho, it sounded good, right? <laughs> but no, um yeah just keep god first and when it comes to these doors that are locked and these walls that are so high built the average person is just is, is just not going to be able to climb that wall for you you have to be i don't like this video 